Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Resident Evil 3 Remake. This time I'm going to show you how to take down Stage 2 Nemesis. You fight Stage 2 Nemesis in the courtyard for St. Andrew's Tower. This is a two-stage fight that keeps looping. So Stage 1 is a ground fight, and then Stage 2 he starts running on the walls. In order to even trigger Stage 2 the first time, you have to deal enough damage to him, and then he'll start running away from you. So this is about two minutes worth of fighting right here. I'm going to be using the mine rounds, although I actually recommend you save these because you're going to need these to get them off the walls later. But you should have a couple from the uh, entrance of this area when you first pick them up. You probably haven't used them all yet. Uh, but you can place them around the statue here. Just keep kiting them around and around in circles, and eventually he'll run into them and he'll blow up. I'm going to switch to flame rounds at this point because I've run out of mine rounds. And you should see a green herb by the statue. This is indicative that there is a lot of ammunition in this arena, just like there was in the first fight. And just like the first fight, if you don't pick up the ammo here, you can't get it. So just make sure you pick everything up. I made that mistake the first time. I'll never make it again in this game. Uh, but yeah, so there's a lot of ammo around. There are additional mine rounds, which you'll see me pick up in about 35 seconds uh, once Nemesis starts running away from me. Uh, but there's shotgun ammo, there's handgun ammo, and there are rounds uh, scattered around the carts and the cop cars and all sorts of stuff. There's some in the SWAT truck. Um, but phase one is really just deal a bunch of damage to him. You just got to get him to start running away from you, which uh, he'll start doing here soon. But along with these big slashes, which are easy enough to stand away from, um, he does have a scream ability that he's had the whole time. It's more of a shout, I guess. This will stun you in place just like it always has. Um, but sometimes that's a trigger for him to start running along the walls for phase two. Once he starts doing that, that's your cue to go start picking up some ammo if you haven't already. There are some shotgun shells as well as some handgun ammo, some uh, more shotgun shells, a breakable box with another herb probably. Uh, and then just near that is a cop car near where he will stop on the wall. That cop car has the mine rounds. So once you pick those up, you want to wait for him to start running some laps, and then I just place them right on the wall of St. Andrew's Clock Tower because they're just the most obvious, easy to aim at, and he covers a pretty wide range of it. Once he's on the ground, you'll see this creature flowing out of his chest. That's his weak point, so you want to dump as much ammo as you can. If you've gotten the shotgun upgrades, um, you know, this is perfect time to use them. If you've gotten the pistol upgrades, perfect time to use those as well. Just keep dumping rounds into him, and eventually he'll get back up, and things repeat themselves. So he will attack you, and then you deal some damage, he'll run away, he runs on the walls, you place a mine round, he gets knocked off the wall, and around and around it goes. And you gotta repeat this for about another two minutes. Um, I have only done this fight once, I did it on normal difficulty, haven't started my hardcore run yet. Um, I can't imagine it changes too much, and there may be a more efficient way of dealing damage to him. Uh, but this is what I found works, and it made me take minimal damage for the most part. I only got it down to danger once. Uh, but yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this play out because that's literally the strategy. There's not much more to it. Um, be sure to pick up all the ammo in the plaza. Use your mine rounds intelligently. Um, the clock tower is the best place to use them because it's just so obvious. Um, and just make sure you use them effectively. Once you dump enough damage to him, he'll go down and then you get the next part of the game. That's about it. So I will end my narration here. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Resident Evil 3 Remake, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you want to join the discussion on Discord, you can find the link to that in the video description below. If you'd like to support this channel monetarily, you can do that by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. And as always, I'm Sweet Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. You gotta...